To call Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird a classic would be an understatement. The play about race, injustice, and loss of innocence told through a child's eyes has won a Pulitzer Prize, three Oscars, and is now smashing records on Broadway. So today, I have headed to Brooklyn to hang with the star bringing Tom Robinson to the stage, Benga Akinabe. First, I have to say thank you so much for taking out the time for us today because you have a show later on. I do. And we should point out, this is your Broadway debut. I feel like this role completely aligns with everything that you're all about. Is, is that right? Yeah. I believe in, in social activism. I believe in speaking truth to power as much as I can. It's a dream opportunity to explore the, like, the experiences of a black man in America, of our social morals evolving and changing or devolving. All right, so we asked you to bring us to some of your favorite places. Where are we? We are at Brooklyn Kettle, one of the best chai yeah, lattes. We, we both, we're, we're both chai people, which I like. And you actually have a bit of a connection to the owner, too. Yes, Io's Nigerian. I'm Nigerian. We're both Yoruba. You're really a neighborhood guy, and, and Brooklyn means a lot to you, specifically Bed-Stuy yeah. and just supporting this community. Bed-Stuy has been, for the longest time, the place with the largest amount of black home ownership. I felt like when I moved here, I found a home, and I'm doing everything I can to uplift it, to highlight you know, the brothers and sisters here who are serving the community. I could talk to you all day, but we do have one more stop to head to. Cool. Shall let's we head go. out? Yeah, let's do it. So here we are at stop number two, which is? Radical Women. Radical Women. Speaking of Radical Women, who's this? This is my partner, Kim. <laughs> I feel like this is a lot more than just a store. Absolutely. It's a place where we highlight female empowerment, but it's open to everyone. Uh, this block is amazing. We have a, a ton of women-owned, black-owned shops. Black-owned Magic Row. I love it. Yes. Black-owned Magic, black -owned Magic Row. What a, what a sprinkle of black With brother, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, you also have a clothing line. I do. Which I do. is for sale here. Yes. The Braided People. Um, so we've used the company to raise money for the Trayvon Martin Foundation. You may have seen a ton of people wearing these Trayvon hoodies, Sam Jackson, Tracy Ellis Ross. So here's the thing, you're a very busy actor and you could very well just be an actor, but you do take on all of these social causes. And I'm just curious, where did that come from and why is that important to you? I think growing up here in the States, particularly with not a lot of money or resources, um, I've always questioned why things are the way they are. And so I'm using what little platform I have to do that you also somehow find time to make furniture? I travel a lot for, for work, shooting in different states and cities and towns, and so I, I use that as an opportunity to find some jewels, and uh, I bring them back to Brooklyn, and I work with local posters to carry out my designs. Okay, so people can buy your furniture, they can wear your clothes, they can come to your store, or they could see you on Broadway in To Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> Thank you so much for a wonderful day Thank and you sharing for your favorite places with us. Absolutely.